We got the Whopper, do it proper, Big Papa, Showstopper, it's the Whopper, today. <laughs> it's Black Hoodie, I'm back, cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Yo, yo, what's poppin'? Welcome to today's video. As you can see, my favorite sandwich, or one of, sitting in front of me, but two of them. The Whopper, we got it loaded up with the onion rings. And sometimes, you're just craving two Whoppers, that's it. That's all I want, two Whoppers. And of course, actually, a full sug cherry coke. Let's get it. <laughs> cherry coke. World renowned, like just something to be revered. Okay, so while I eat these Whoppers, I was out running around doing some shit. And I had a very interesting, funny little social dilemma, a pickle if you will, um, and I want to run it by you, tell you a little story, run it by you, and see like how you would have handled it, and tell you how I handled it, but before that, we got to get some bites. So, Whopper, heavy all, with added uh, onion rings, but of course... Interior look. Extremely good right now. Was very high in my crave. So, just living my like normal running around life. Doing some AA Raws. Errands <laughs> and uh, had to get some gas. Go to the gas station. It's freezing balls out right now, it's minus 20. And uh, just fill up, freeze my nuts off, go inside. Go to pay for gas. I have a prepaid credit card that I use. So it just has a balance on it. It's already, it's like, it's just real money. It's already there. And, uh, mm. Mm -mm -mm. it gets declined three times and I'm like that's so weird because I know it has money so clearly the machine is just acting a fool and I'm like uh, do you have ATM? This is so good. Points me to the ATM. Go to ATM. Card works fine in there. Pull 100. Gas is 70. Yeah, I just... You guys know I like to show you these good bites. The tomato, the pickle. That's going to be a perfect one. So I get the 100, the 100 is fresh and crispy, straight out the machine, brand new bills, beautiful, straight. I give the cashier 80, gas is 70, she hands me 10, with my 20 that I have from the machine still, and the 10, I fold them into thirds, and I shove them 
in my little wallet thing. Which can be seen right here. Hilarious. Don't judge me. My mom gave it to me. It's from the 80s. But it works for me. I don't really give a shit what it looks like. So, here's the 10. See how I folded it? Like that? So now it's, you know, it's got some character to it. It's compartmentalized. So, I have them both tucked in here. Separate though, like not folded into each other, but one each. I get out of getting gas. This goes in my jacket pocket. I rip down to next destination. Which is Shoppers Drug Mart. Just was getting Advil and eye drops. Pull up to the self checkout. Round two, fight. So, checking out the self checkout. My card on this machine now, once again, tripping, acting a fool. And so on the self-checkout, the like, uh, like authority needed prompt pops up. So I'm like, okay, screw this. The guy's right behind me. There's one dude in the line. I'll just pay over here with this guy. And I think to myself, I'll just pay, I have this 30 bucks cash. If like my card's screwed up on machines, I'll just go over here, pay for it cash and bounce. So I'm in transition between the self-checkout and the uh, cashier. And as I pivot, I'm like, like fiddling or putting the cards and like pulling and I put my stuff down onto the countertop waiting for the other guy and I look and I'm like oh, I only have my 10 and I have not taken my wallet out anywhere between gas and now. So I'm like, definitely it's on the floor. So I start scoping around by like where I was, right? Checking out what self checkout, looking all around, kind of reaching over. I got a girl behind me now all of a sudden. Looking down, looking around, checking my pockets, looking confused about, you know, losing money. That's the perfect bite. So I'm confused. But I'm like, all right, screw it. I'll use a card. I have another card. Right when I pull out, 
to check out. I just look to the girl that's behind me and we're like kind of socially distanced and she's got her wallet out, her product that she's going to buy and under the bottom of her product, like kind of tucked under away between her hand and her fingers, just kind of dangling and floating under the product that she's going to buy is a $20 bill like this, all folded, but unfolded flat, but it has like the folds in it. So I'm like, that's 100% my 20, guaranteed. She clearly saw it trickle down to the floor, sniped it quick, and is trying to just, you know, have a free 20, <laughs> right? And she definitely saw it fall from me. So in my head, I'm like, what do you do in this situation? And this is when I want to know, what, like, what do you guys do in this situation? For me, I'm like, it sucks that I'm about to lose 20 bucks, but I'd rather avoid this awkward social battle and confrontation over 20 bucks that I know is mine. And then ultimately have her just go deny, deny, deny and have no real way to prove anything. So I just take the L. Pay for my shit and dip. So as I'm leaving, I'm kind of like watching her with the money. So she puts her items on the counter. She puts the 20 down and then goes into her wallet to get more money or a card out. And right in that moment, it's like, okay, so you're telling me that your items came to more than 20. So you had a 20 prepared, but your items were going to come to more than 20. So why do you still have to go into your wallet? Like, where did that random 20 come from? It's just a shady, annoying, shitty situation that I didn't want to confront or deal with. And I just wonder what type of person are you? Are you calling her out? Are you arguing it? Are you getting your 20 back? Or are you just being like, it is what it is. It'll work out in the wash. You know, the universe has a funny way of working itself out. She has to live with the fact that she kind of knows that she's a little bit shitty as a, of a human. But hey, maybe she needs it too. Times are tight. Times are tough. That was my mentality. I'm just like, let it be. You know, the 20 comes back to me at some point. And you know what? If she really needed it, she could have it. You know what I mean? So, the other question that entered my mind was, if a $100 bill fell out, then what are you saying? Because if that's the case, then I'm saying something. Twenty is a nice little come up. It's not too hard of a loss. If a hundy falls out, I'm probably confronting for the hundy. So I got my truck. And I watched her come out and go into her vehicle. And I was when I was driving by her in my truck, I 
I was so tempted to like pull up alongside her window and just yell, you're welcome. <laughs> Cause she knew what she did. I've been in her shoes. In that situation. So many times. And my immediate. Response is. Hey yo you, you drop money. You know? Every time. So it's like you're, you're right there. You're in a store. There's other people around. Shit, like... It's the right thing to do, first of all. But second of all, it's like... On her part... That's just so bold. Anyway, those were clutch. Amazing little meal here. Pretty big meal, actually. Those are hefty. But, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know about that. It was just funny to me. Very little interesting uh, social dynamics dilemma. And uh, I just wanted to see what your, you know, first reaction or, like, first instinct would be in that situation. Do you let it ride? Or throw up the fist to cough? <laughs> okay, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.